certainly the birds that are in the trees that we see from our observation deck. It's really not an observation deck, but this is the camera that's mounted on the WVTM 13 live Doppler. We see showers with our own two eyes and rain chances are going to be pretty much intermittent through at least 9 a.m. with the coverage in Tuscaloosa County likely going to be one of the areas that we will see rain on and off throughout the day because of the cloudiness and the rain. The temperatures stay in the upper 70s, low 80s, but the humidity will still have you feeling pretty uncomfortable. It'll be tricky to navigate around some afternoon plans around Lake Tuscaloosa and the Black Warrior River. The rain has been pretty steady since we started the show at four o'clock in the morning. So it's been about two hours. The rainfall rate is roughly a couple of hundredths of an inch per hour, so we're not seeing anything piling up, but the humidity level is certainly going to help increase the rain chances and coverage later today. Tracking the tropics, there's an area of low pressure that the National Hurricane Center put a little yellow X on, which is kind of like, okay, slow down, easy does it. Just be mindful if you have any interest along the Atlantic coast, and of course that may impact any uh, NASA plans on the eastern seaboard. The bulk of the rain from this area of low pressure is impacting the Bahamas. Most of the humidity continues to come up from the south. Now we don't have any organized weather patterns here. We've got a lot of humidity and a lot of heat, so that's why we call it a summer like pattern. So uh, the unofficial start to summer was just this past weekend, so technically all bets are off. I wanted to show you this satellite and radar composite because it's a loop of the radar over the past three hours. So over the past three hours, it's been raining on and off from uh, Clanton to Tuscaloosa and western Jefferson County. Our rain chances being at 50 50 in some spots means that the coverage area will continue to be I 65 and westward as the bulk of it shows those thunderstorms a little stronger to our south and west. Some of it can potentially get pretty active quickly. These summer th thunderstorms we've already seen last week. I don't know if you, you folks remember if you, if you care about your car, you do. There was hail at least twice and we broke a daily rainfall record. We got two inches in one hour. That's how much humidity is in the atmosphere. You know, Rick Carley, because you got that gel going.